Hi Georgina, how are you this week? Hi Charlotte, I'm good thank you. you? We're wearing more or less the same colour. We are aren't we? I didn't realise yeah. that. We <laughs> have earthed. We have earthed the root we chakra. Have... <laughs> and how are you getting on with the book and with the exercises? Yeah, they've been really interesting. I yeah. really enjoyed them. I'm also going into budgeting uh, cooking. I've been looking around and um, I'm going to the Hell L shop because things are fresh there and they are, I, I'm, like we said last week, I'm not really a great meat eater, um, but you can get fresh herbs there as well. So I'm, I'm going to price up um, in the workshop and then make a, a dish that's not too expensive, but that you can have for two days. Because I'm on my own, yes. generally, when I'm, because when my daughter comes, she, she works different shifts in her work. So sometimes she, she eats with me and sometimes she doesn't. Okay, okay so we have to keep uh, in mind that it, this could be for one person, but also for a family. So if you are going to become more conscious of your diet, perhaps you might pick up something like that. Perhaps yeah, you, I'm hoping to. Perhaps you can share it with me because uh, in, in England you still got the corner shops, not only just the big shops, but also the corner shops, which I like much better because it's like the old fashioned days. Yeah, I've got one that's about two doors away from me and oh. they do lots of fruit, vegetables and all that kind of stuff. It's really fresh and nice from them. So. Oh, nice one. You should advertise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and get food for free. OK, well, we're going um, I'm, I've been reading chapter three. As you can see, I've got bits of paper everywhere sticking out. So I've been doing my homework. OK, chapter three is the inner magical method. And I'll read a little bit uh, and I won't make it too long. OK, so if you would like to get the book and more information. I've got one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, they're really great. And I've got my new uh, book, my jotter, with the tabs in it, because I've run out on this one, but I've got a new one, a real thick one. OK. I have thrown a lot of stuff at you so far, but you're a witch and can re readily absorb the magical association. Now, if you're not a witch, you can still absorb all the information and use it to your own advantage in your own way because like she said uh, tj perkins in the beginning of the book you don't have to be a wiccan or a witch and you can nothing is wrong you can do it according to your own way now let's put those associations to work spells and inner workings are going to help with our inner our, our, and outer healings i hope you can help me with my stutter I have incorporated many magical herbs for your spell work, but I'm not going to give you an entire laundry list. We are keeping it simple, focusing on just a few specific organs, and we don't want to overdo any spell work. Remember, it is the intent that matters most. A lot of high magic frills may not be may not do anything more than sim something simple would do. When you use crystals in, to aid in your magical place, then on the appropriate areas or on the appropriate areas you want to focus on or hold them in your dominant hand. I gave you several examples of crystals you can use. If you don't have them but have others that are good for the same thing, then use those this is about doing what makes you feel good and comfortable. Some of my suggestions may not work for you. Feel free to modify and try them diff in different ways. If after two weeks something doesn't work, try this or try that. Change it up. This is how you personalize the healing just for you. 
You may start feeling results right away, but mostly it takes two weeks to a month. Complete healing takes three to six months. Please give these techniques a little time and be kind to your body. And she has put a spider underneath that, a disclaimer. I like the way she's put the spider there. Yeah. Okay, disclaimer, some of the herbs I'm going to list you can ingest, some you can't. Some people may be allergic to one or more of these. If you're sensitive to these herbs, use them only in spell work and do not ingest. If you're pregnant, think twice before ingesting herbs you've never tried before. Make sure that you consult, that you consult a medical professional before ingesting uh, or using, etc., any herb. And well, going back to this book, this if you want more herbs, this book is the book to be. More spells, there's 51 spells and uh, there's a herbs, oil and gemstones. So that will tell you what, um, what each gemstone does. So I have put my book there because we're going to do a spell today. I'm going to do one and then uh, Georgina will show us a spell. Um, so we're going to first uh, continue with working the healing spells for the liver and the gallbladder. That is what uh, I would like to do, uh, go into. We've already discussed the elements uh, of the liver and that was earth, if I'm correct. Yes, spirit, uh, no, it's uh, it's spring and it is spirit. It's not earth. It is spirit and spirit, the element of spirit. Yeah, that was it. It was the, um, the top point of the um, pentagram. Correct. Meditation dash visualization. Choose a green candle. Now, green candles you cannot get uh, usually. It's, they're very difficult to get. But I do have a sort of green candle and it's like a tea light. It's more like an aquamarine. That's what you like that. Yeah. So, but um, I did have green. I've got a golden <coughs> candle now, um, but green also attracts money and healing. Green is healing, the heart chakra, um, opening your heart is also most probably good when you're burning a green candle. Money, because you have to embrace the dollar sign. Uh, that is what I've learned from somebody else. I don't know whether you agree with that. Yeah, but I agree with that. To manifest it even uh, more solidly. Okay, choose a green candle, any size or color to your liking. Place the justice card, tarot card, where you can see it, because um, that's for balance. And I haven't got a tarot card out now, so I won't do that. Um, and hold the crystal of your choice. Well, I've got selenite, a great big block of selenite, which is my sister. And it is also neutralizes the, the cyber uh, energy. It's good for clearing computers and it clears all other crystals. Sit facing east. If it's a breeze, breezy day, that will make your spell more powerful. So you have to go outside to do it, I suppose. Squeeze a small amount of fresh lemon juice and sandalwood oil into a dish of your liking. A mirth, uh, add myrrh uh, and frankincense oil for overall protection. Crushed clove, cloves, eucalyptus, thyme and verbena. Mix these together into your oil and rub the mixture onto your candle. Breathe slowly in and out. Clear your mind and call forth calm. Don't let anything interrupt you while you prepare. If you want to set a magical pro protective barrier in place and call in the elements, now would be the time. Light your candle and let's begin. 
So you have to visualize your gallbladder. I'll read this because it's my short term memory is not very good. Visualize your bladder and, gall and gallbladder or both. And on, like if you want to empower the healing energy, I suppose you just fix it on one or both, but I would just take one and I would take the liver because that's the, the biggest filter of the whole body. And give them a visual hug filled with love and positive energy. Notice their color, if pink and healthy, that's a good sign. If muddied, you'll need to work on them. So you most probably have to close your eyes and envision how you how you would like to see your liver or actually get into the um, frequency of your liver and see what comes up. Yeah. So if it looks murky or black or grey or whatever, then you have to go and try to work on that more often so it will turn pink. Now step back and imagine your blood flows. See in your mind's eye how it's moving. If sluggish, give it some energy. See the blood flow moving smoother and faster and guide it to your liver or gallbladder or both. It moves through them without getting stuck and out of your organs. The toxins that have been stuck begin to drip out. Now see your hands, massage the liver. So look at your hands and massage your liver and your gallbladder starting at one side and moving down. Okay, squeeze out the toxins. As your hands move more and more toxins out of the pool below you. Okay, take your time doing this and ensure that you get every area of the liver and gallbladder. Continue to see the blood flow into, uh, sorry, f flow moving smoothly round the organs without fail. Once the toxins are out and in a pool, visualizing flushing them out, take them down into Mother Earth, using her as take these toxins and transform them into something useful and healthy for the earth in return. You will bring up the warmth, brilliant white energy of the goddess and will every part of your being slowly come back to yourself. Then thank the deity, thank the elements and release and protect the barriers you put up for your magical working. After you've completed the visualization, let your candle burn all the way down. Personally, I put any leftover magics in my burning box collection for the next litha. That's also a festival time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, I won't go into what Litha is, but we now we are in Marbon, the uh, fall equinox, autumn, Libra. Note after I finished with this meditation, I always have to go to the toilet. My body is ridding itself of toxins. That's how I know what I'm doing is working. Okay. Now, we've got a spell here so we know how to do that and you can do this in also in a meditation if you don't like doing spells okay yeah. now so we've got them i haven't got a bath i've got a shower so i'm just going to read what the bath is because in this book it says do the same as a bath spell and then i will read the bath spell from the other book okay okay Magic bath, magical bath. If you're a bath person, this will work well for you. Draw a warm bath, light and small, light a small black candle to absorb negativity of the illness. Put on some relaxing music. Mix grape seed oil, lavender, 
camphor and rosemary oil and pour into your bath. Leave some for yourself. Sit in the bath, pour the oil in your hands and rub them together briskly, creating heat. Now place your hands on your liver and gallbladder or, bo bo or both and say three times, Goddess, heal me with your touch. Cleanse this body, I love you so much. With all I am as your domain, remove the sickness, heal the pain. So you have to say that three times. Once you get out of the bath and dry off, look at the candle and say, as this candle burns away, let the healing quality stay. By the power of the three times three, this spell bound round shall be the cause, no harm, nor return on me. As I will, so it be, so mote it be. Wow. How did I do? <laughs> you did well. <laughs> Um, well, I would like to go back into the oils in a minute, but I'm going to read the um, wash away stress or well, let's have a look at the bath. Now the bath was somewhere else. The bath. bath what, over uh, the page. Sorry? Um, which one were you looking for? The bath spell. Uh, it's the wash, wash away spell, stress spell. It's not the bath spell. No, it's uh, page 96. 96. Yeah. No, no, that, that, I've got that one, but there should be a bath spell. I don't know. I've not seen the bath spell. Washing away. OK, well, we'll stick with washing away. Stress. Some people sing in the shower. Well, it must be the bath spell then. She's just named it differently. While others use cleansing flow of water to wash away the stresses of the day or to bolster themselves up for a hard day's work. You will need a bar of chamomile or lavender soap. Um, um, there, uh, I know that uh, I'm using like uh, coconut soap, or you. Okay. Or, um, so that is against. Uh, it's more f environmental friendly, and it's. Uh, I've got uh, coconut and sage, and sage is also very clean, uh, cleansing, because uh, I've got a very sensitive skin. But I know some people with psoriasis, for, for example, or acne. Could, uh, it's better to use coconut um, coconut oil or, or olive oil soap. You can get them from the um, health food stores. And I would suggest in what you will need is can a bar of chamomile, which is also calming, uh, or lavender. But if you can't stand uh, uh, do the perfumes, then I would suggest get chamomile and uh, make your own um, oil because you can get oil is the mediator because I've done aromatherapy and uh, you have to see it as the mediator. So you use a little bit of chamomile and you use a little bit of lavender in like the tincture. Uh, uh, those are the little bottles. They look like this. And you use about three drops of concentrated oil and lavender. I'll, I'll just go into <clears throat> a little bit into this. And um, if you're in the UK and you're having problems sourcing them, I do them. OK, so the oils as well. and the carrier oils that you can put them in. OK, you call them carrier oils, not the mediator. Yeah, okay. or carrier oils or base oils, I know them as, but I know what you mean when you say okay. mediators. Thank you. So. Uh, lavender is antidepressant, calming and healing, physical, physically and mentally, balancing, helps ensure restful sleep, 
immune builder and for love. Now the other one was chamomile. And actually chamomile is not in here, I think. I can't see it. No. Chamomile is not in here. Let's see if it's in the other workbook. But I know chamomile is for um, resting, peace, calmness. Yeah, it's so relaxing and it's a, um, it relaxes your nervous system as well. Because um, if you have problems with um, muscle tension and spasms and things like that, because I was drinking chamomile tea um, yeah. when I hurt my back because it helps relax your nervous system and the... Uh, the tension there. I know. It's also purifying. No, I thought you did the um, oils as well. I'm quite surprised that it isn't in the workbook. Um, it's in the back of the book. Sage, magical associates includes, including for purification and protection, wisdom, health and long life. Oh, I better stop using the soap then. <laughs> Use as an antiperspirant, healing uh, to wounds, aids digestion and relieves muscle and joint pain. That is sage. Can uh, page 124 and chamomile is an excellent herb both internally and externally for calming great for digestion fevers and burns and is an anti-inflammatory for wounds brew it in tea to aid in digestive orders disorders gastritis and difficult bowel movements so if you want to sit on the toilet all day <laughs> Drink chamomile, <laughs> blend with witch hazel and use as a skin wash to relieve dry skin, sunburns and eczema. So with these two books, you'll get very far with regarding to the herbs. So according to one book, you have to use lavender, camphor. Camphor is also calming. Rosemary is calming and uh, mix of grapeseed oil. I suppose that's the carrier, grapeseed oil. Yeah. Right. So you like uh, I would do that um, and put it in a cup and then I would rub myself in with all that because I haven't got a bath and then get my neutral bar of soap and soak myself in and which is a good soap, sage and uh, coconut oil and then just wash myself. This soap you can actually use also to wash your hair. Well, that's brilliant. Actually, it, it takes three bottles, this bar of soap, instead of three bottles. So that's also environmental friendly. It lasts a long, long time. Okay, it's environmental friendly. It's sparing, if you use it sparingly, it lasts a long time. You don't need much. So it's a beautiful piece of soap. So then we're going back to this book and this is what it says. You will need a bar of chamomile or lavender soap, but you've got the other herbs from the other book. So combine them. As you step into the shower, visualize oil anxiety and stress being washed away by the cascading water. So I would wet myself, rub myself in, or if you do it with the oil, rub yourself in with the oil, then stand under the shower, look at the little hole in the floor and just let it visualize that everything is washed away from you and it's going down the hole and return to mother earth. Then lather yourself up and repeat the following incantation. Water, water everywhere, rinse away my every care. 
cleanse my body, my mind and soul before the stress can take its toll. So mote it be. And I love this one better than the other one because it's shorter. And I can say this also in my meditations. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. <laughs> so I think that is uh, uh, the time now is 25 minutes. Um, would you like to do your um, uh, spell um, or shall we leave that till next week? I don't mind. Um, it, I, I can do it quickly if you want to. Well, do, I like that. OK, do it quickly and then we'll start next week with an extended version of it. Because I would like to then it because otherwise it will stop in the middle of nowhere. Is okay. that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Well, I would like to do the sleep spell from this one. OK. What's the page? Um, page number 86. Thank you. Because I've had a lot of I, this is a normal pattern for me because at the moment when we're recording, we're in between the new moon and the full moon and we've got that build up of energy going on. It yeah. always wreaks havoc with me every month. Oh, well, especially now in, in October, um, this this video will come out about around the 10th of October 12th. OK, because we, we've uh, got uh, we're up to the 8th of uh, October, which is a Thursday. So that would be on Tuesday the 13th that this episode will come out. Right in the middle of the month. Bam. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so let's go. So I'm going to do that one and then I'll probably pick something from this one as well. But we can do that in the next episode. OK, well, do you spell shortly to so that it um, it flows in with mine or mine flows in with yours and then we'll start next week with the the, the this spell but extended. OK, not a problem. Um, so for this one um, she's got here is sleep spell. You might try if a job worries about keeping you up at night. It's pretty simple and very effective. So for this one, you need a lavender oil and a white candle, um, which I've got small um, spell candles that I'll use for anyway. And so do you want me to, to read the page through? Well, if you've read it, we for, with that? Uh, if you you've read it, do that next week because yeah. you must have uh, read it before and uh, just take us through the spell, please. Yeah, that's fine. So that's that's it. It's just on the one page. OK, so there's no incantation. No, this is a very simple one. Um, basically, it's about setting your intention and doing your your um, circle. Yeah. And you make your own lavender oil. You or you add the drops to, to water and then you use it on your face and the back of your neck, wrists, elbows, stomach, knees and ankles. So you've got you, you smell of lavender basically by the time you go to bed. And then you've got. Um, yeah, by the looks of it, you're just cleansing the energy of the room and setting your intention and doing it that way with the candle. And I think you use the candle over several days. OK. Ah, it says here, finally blow out the candle, whisper the word sleep and turn in for the night. Yeah, and then when the candle is completely spent, you repeat the original spell with a new white candle. OK. Thank you. It's OK. Sorry, it was a bit higgledy piggledy and all over the place there. <laughs> no, I'm like that as well, but we're getting used to that. We're getting the idea of what the books are about. Thank you very much for coming in this week. That's and right. I'll Thank see you, you next much. week. 
Amazing. And I'll try it out your sleeping spell and see what it does. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care.